Hello, hello, everybody. Hello, hello. Hello, Eva. Hello, uh, Rose. Hello, teacher. Hello, hello, Jacqueline. Good night, teacher. Good, night. good evening, good evening. Good evening. Yeah, good evening, good Jacqueline. Evening. Good evening, Joanna. Good evening, Eva. Stephanie, good evening. How is everything there? Uh, you are okay. Um, well, you are very responsible, right? It's, it's um, nine o'clock and it is time to start. It is time to start. Let us wait a little bit so that the rest can gather. Okay, so let us wait a little bit. I hope you are ready with your with your pencil, with your pen, with your notebook, with your laptop. If you have a tablet, with your tablet, with your cell phone. You know, everything is important. Everything is necessary in an English class. And also, I hope you are ready with a, with a translator or a dictionary in English that can be very useful during the class. Okay, so let's wait a little bit. Let's wait a little bit more. Mm. Well, I have 12 people. Hope every, everybody's okay. Mm. I don't know about it. Okay, now oh, yes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Good evening. Good evening, good evening. Good evening, everybody. Well, I will check list attendance. Remember today, we are in church of talking about the readings you studied yesterday or we, we, we started yesterday. Yesterday we were talking about Bitcoin 2 and questions. And tonight we're gonna talk a little about body parts, about the way we feel. among other things. Okay, we're gonna finish with session number two. Mm -hmm. One and two. Okay. Okay, we're gonna start. I will share that. I will share the, the screen so that we can start. Well, let's start as quickly as possible. Welcome, everybody. I'm really happy to see you here. Let me see people who got connected. Alex, hello. Anna. Uh, I have Daniela, I have Diana, Eva, Jacqueline, Joanna, Carla, Melissa, Rosa, Roxana, Sara, Stephanie, um, Chancy, Jenny, Sylvia, and that's it, right? So welcome everybody. So, you know, yeah, yeah hello. So, you see, I will check the list of attendance first. Then we're gonna see this information. I told you to study this info in advance, right? 
information about Elena Buenaventura, information about uh, this lady, Yang Chinxi, information about Mr. and Mrs. Aoki, and that's it, right? And also we finally have Philip Julie from Paris. Okay, so we're gonna come in a minute. I need to check list attendance first. I had some problems with my with it, but now I saw it. So list attendance, people, be ready. Okay. Abigail Elizabeth. I am here. Good. Ana Maria. Hey, Garcia. Good Ana evening. Maria. Ah, okay, Ana Maria. Okay. Ana Maria Present. Emily. Ana Maria Emily. So she's she. Eh, Carlos David. Carlos David. Daniela Alejandra. I am here. Diana Saray. I am here. Emma. Emma. <coughs> Sorry. Eva Margarita. Present. Gabriela Lisset, Jacqueline Janet, Present. Joana Guadalupe. Present. Carla Olivia. Present. Melissa Giselle. Present. Raul Alexander. Present teacher. Rosa Elizabeth. Rosa Feliciana. Present teacher. Rosa Elizabeth? No, Rosa, no, Rosa Feliciana. Rosa Feliciana, okay. Roxana Janira. Present teacher. Ruth Noemi. Yes. Ruth Noemi is there, right. Zaira? Present Okay, Sara, Sara Vanessa. Sara Vanessa. Silvia Noemi. Present teacher. Stephanie Carolina. Here teacher. Susana Maris Laces. So Susana is not here. Gabriel. Gabriel Chica. Present teacher. William. Vladimir. William Vladimir, William Alfredo, <coughs> sorry, William Alfredo, Jancy Stephanie, I am here, Jenny Guadalupe, present, and that's it, so, okay, so now yes, we're going to start. Uh, Carlos, do you have any question? No. So I had a problem with my my Microsoft my microphone, uh, but I am here. Excellent. Thank you very much. I will check it at the end, Carlos. Don't worry. A pleasure. Good. So I want to share the screen, but I don't know. I'll try to do it now, once again. Okay, here we go. Okay, so the mission, we started the last time. The first one's about Elena, right? Elena Buena Ventura. And someone is gonna help me to read. Okay, so I got it. Now, can somebody read over here? My 21st birthday is on? Saturday. On Saturday. 
Aha, continue, please. And I'm going to go out with some friends to wish me happy birthday. They're going to pull on my ear 21 times, once for eight years. It's an old custom. Some people pull on the air used once, but my friends are very traditional. Wow, 20, 21 times. <laughs> 21 because she's 21. Yeah. Now, question about her. To celebrate her birthday, Elena's friends are going to pull her ear 21 times. True or false? True. 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 Now, let's go over this person. Let's go over the information on this person. Jan Ching Shi. Okay. Tomorrow. Tomorrow. Tomorrow my is birthday. my birthday. 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 It's a special birthday. So we are going to have a family ceremony. I'm probably going to get some money and lucky love from my relatives. My daughter is going to cook noodles. Noodles are for a long life. Noodles are for long life. So let's get back to the exercise. And let's see. Janshin is going to cook some noodles on her birthday. False. 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 Why is false? Because her mother's cook noodles. No. Because. No, Janshin. Okay, because her mother is going to cook noodles. Yeah. So that is false, right? False. Then we're going to read about Mr. and Mrs. Aoki. Let me see. Can somebody please, can somebody help me to read, please? My husband is going to be 16 tomorrow. 60 or how? 60? 60. Tomorrow. In Japan, the 60th birthday is called Kanreki. It's the beginning of the new life. The color red represents a new life. So children often give something red as, as a present. Uh -huh. What are our children going to give him? A red hat and vest. And a vest, all right. Best. Now, on his birthday, Mr. Aoki is going to receive something red? True. true. What is he going true. to receive? It's true. What is he going true. to receive? A red hat. The color red present. He received oh. a red hat and vest. A red hat and vest. Good. Yeah. Now let's go over Philip. I think it is this. Philip. Information about Philip. Jolie from Paris. Uh -huh. I'm going to be. A, I'm going to be. Uh, 30? 30? Uh -huh. Next week. So I'm going to invite three very good friends out to dinner in France. When you have a birthday, you often invite people out. It's some country. I know it's the opposite people. No I know is the opposite people take you out. Thank you, teacher. Excellent. Very good. Opposite people take you out. Questions. Philip's friend are going to take him out to dinner on his birthday. True or false? False. 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 Now what are they going to do then? Three, three. Friends. Ah, it is not about three friends. So it's true or false? You say false. false. It is false. false. 
We're gonna check it. Okay, very good. That's false. Uh -huh. This is true. This is false. And the first one's true. The first one, but Elena, excellent. Very good. So yesterday we were talking about it, about going to, and today we are going to see something new here. It's, we're going to get into a new topic that's about a body parts our body parts and you know by the end of this uh, class we're going to learn we are going to learn vocabulary for discussing parts of the body okay so we will see some information here like who power parts of the body no but before getting into this part let me let me ask you something how do you say, how do you say frente in English? How do forehead. You say, forehead. How do you say cejas in English? Eyebrows. Eyebrows. How do you say nariz in English? Nose. Nose. How do you say orejas in English? Ear. 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 How do you say cuello in English? Neck. 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 How do you say um, hombros in English? Shoulders. Shoulders. How do you say espalda in English? Back. 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 How do you say uh, manos in English? Hand. 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 Uh, right hand and left hand. Right. Como dicen dedos de las manos en inglés? Fingers. 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 Manos de los pies in English. Toes. Toes, toe. right? Toes. And, and I hope that you know every single name of the finger. Now, we're going to, I will give you three minutes to go and surf the internet to investigate about more vocabulary. Voy a tener tres minutos para que investiguen en la web ahorita acerca de las partes del cuerpo. ¿Ok? Partes del cuerpo. Tres minutos, de ahí todos van a participar, ¿ok? Okay, what did you get? For example, uh, Sylvia, what did you get? What? What did you get? What is the information you got? Um, have, cabeza. Head. All right. Um, chest. Chest. Pecho. Good. Arm. Brazos. Okay. Leg, piernas. Good. Uh, eyes, ojo. Eyes, ojos. All right. Eyes, sorry. Uh, and mouth, boca. Mouth. Mouth. Excellent. Very good. Thank you, Silvia. Uh, Ana Garcia, what did you get? Mm. Eyelash, cejas. Eyelashes, right? Eyelash, cejas. Eyebrow, 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 pestañas. Mm -hmm. mm. 
Stomach. 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 Uh -huh. How do you say dolor de estómago in English? Stomach. Stomach ache. Stomach ache. How do you say dolor de cabeza in English? Headache. Headache. Very good. How do you say dolor de espalda in English? Head back. Um, oh. Not really? Backache? Backache. Yeah, backache, right? How do you say dolor de, de dientes o de muela in English? Head? No, no, no. I don't know. <laughs> you know nah, okay, so we're going to study that info. We're going to study that info tonight. Don't worry. So that's uh, toothache. 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 Yeah, oh, um, let me see. Yeah, we're going to see the video. Then we're going to repeat. We're going to see the information in the PDF. And listen, this is fun. This is important. Here we go. We're discussing different parts of the body. Let's get started by listening and practicing. Parts of the body. Head. Eye. Ear. Nose. Mouth. Tooth. Teeth. Chin. Back. Shoulder. Chest. Stomach. Throat. Neck. Wrist. Arm. Elbow. Thumb. Hand. Finger. Finger. Fingers. Fingers. How are you repeating there? Knee. Knee. Ankle. Knee. Foot. Feet. Foot. Feet. Toe. 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 Toes. Make sure that you memorize this vocabulary. An easy way to do this is by pointing to your head and expressing, this is my head. This is my head. And pointing to your arm this and is saying, my arm. this is my arm. Remember, the goal is to learn this vocabulary. So do this until you have learned all the vocabulary words. Okay, so as, as, as you can see. Hi, everyone. In this class, you'll learn. As you can see, it's important to learn the, the parts of the body in English. So really, okay, let me see. It's because I'm trying to get something here. Okay. Somebody uh, mentioned that the, the, the image is not that clear. That's right. Uh, uh, Sarah Vigail. Okay, Sarah says, teacher, I cannot see that well. Okay, so over here, we're going to try to get the information, Sarah. Now, can you see it clearer, clearer now? Yes. Yes, right. Very good. Yes, yes. Thank How do you, you say this in English? Head. Head. Eye. 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 Ear. 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 No. 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 Nose. Nose. Back. 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 No. Nose. Shoulder. 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 Yes. Chest. Shoulder. Chest. Chest. Stomach. 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 Hand. 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 Fingers. Now, this one? Mouth. Mouth. 
mau Okay, very good. Now let's see. How do you say, for example, ¿cómo, cómo se nombran los, los dedos de las manos en inglés? Pulgar, how do you say pulgar in English? Thumb. Thumb. Now, this, this finger? Finger. The index finger, finger right? This one? Finger. 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 Yeah. The middle finger, this one? No. No, you don't know. This is the ring finger. Mm -hmm. And this one? Little finger. Little, Little finger, finger, the pinky. Okay. So that's the vocabulary. Now, let's see. What are you going to do? Well, now people, can you can you say, uh, can you mention some parts of your body? Like, for example, you say, hey, this is my arm. This is my hand. I have five fingers, and, and they are my thumb, my index, my middle finger, the ring finger, the pink, the pinky, etc. Okay, you are going to tell us about it. Joanna, you start. Is my eyebrow? This is eyebrow. Okay. Is it my eyes? It my ear? Mm. It my arm? All right. Let's see. Thank you. Carla, what about you? This is my eyes, my nose. This is my mouth. This is my arm. Mm, this is my shoulder. This is okay. Oh, these are because you we have two shoulders, right? These are okay. my shoulders. Um, my shoulder, um, elbow, um, my ears. Okay, very good. So listen, listen carefully. Mm, let's listen to Carlos. Carlos David. No, Carlos? Okay, remember, this is, or these are. Okay, so let's get back Sorry. to this. Okay. Sorry, my microphone, my microphone is broken. Oh, I... um, yeah, you told me, right? I'm, I forgot it. I forgot it, I'm sorry, but I forgot it. Okay. So, uh, well, we are going to see some info, which is important. As you can see, there is a conversation, and I think we're going to get this conversation just over here. This is the conversation. Here. Here. Listen to this part. It's very significant. 
After you finish this activity, share your work in our discussion forums. Hi everyone, in this class you'll learn how to express different illnesses. For example, I have a headache. I don't feel well. Let's get started by listening to a conversation titled, I feel homesick. I feel homesick. Hey, Kenichi, how are you? Oh, I'm not so good, actually. Why? What's the matter? Well, I have a headache and a backache. Maybe you have the flu. No, I think I just feel a little homesick for Japan. That's too bad. But maybe I can help. Let's have lunch at that new Japanese restaurant. That's a great idea. Thanks, Brian. I feel better already. Now let's take a look at the examples on this chart. Have plus noun. Pay attention. Feel plus adjective. What's the matter? What's wrong? I have a headache. I have a backache. I have the flu. How are you? How do you feel? I feel homesick. I feel better. I don't feel well. Negative adjectives. Sick. Awful. Terrible. Miserable. Positive adjectives. Fine. Great. Terrific. Fantastic. I would like to start by explaining the examples on the left hand side of this chart. How to form statements with have plus noun. We can follow this formula to do that. Subject plus have plus noun. Let's analyze the first example. I have a headache. The subject is I. I, pay attention. The verb. Then we need to put have. Have. Plus Finally, a noun. we include a noun. A okay. headache. I have a headache. Let's take a look at one more example. One more example. I have the flu. I have the flu. The subject is I. I. Then we need to put have. Have. Finally, we include the noun. I have the flu. The flu. Now, I would like to show you how to form statements with feel plus adjective. We can follow this formula. Subject plus feel plus adjective. Let's analyze the example, I feel homesick. I feel homesick. The subject is I. Then we need to add feel. Finally, we need to put an adjective homesick or it can be any of these adjectives towards the right I feel sick awful terrible terrible you can repeat at home okay miserable I feel miserable I feel fine. awful I feel fine Great. Great. Terrific. Terrific. Fantastic. Fantastic. Now it's your turn to practice giving examples of your own. Try to use the vocabulary and try to make examples using half plus noun and feel plus adjective. After you finish this activity, share your work in our discussion forums. Okay, so we're going to work a little bit here. Terrible. Now, how do you feel Miserable. tonight, people? How, how, how do you feel tonight? Um, I feel right. I feel, I feel so good. Okay. I feel so good. I feel so good. I feel better. I feel great. Fantastic. Okay. So the opposite is sick, awful, terrible, and miserable. Uh huh. 
Tired. 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 Yeah. Tired. Tired. You feel tired. Now you see the vocabulary is over here, right? The, the information is appearing in Spanish also. And now we will see it's because I have some some more information here. So this is a this is a conversation. This is the information that I got. Now, how do you say dolor de espalda in English? Backache. 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 A backache. Backache. Okay. What about this one? Dolor de oído. Um, in your ear. Earache. A earache. A earache. Dolor de cabeza. A headache. Uh, a headache. A headache. Dolor de estómago. A stomachache. A stomachache. Stomach dolor de muela. A toothache. Toothache. Ok, resfriado. A cold. A cold. All right. Ok, toser. A cough. Ok, de fiebre. A fever. Okay. This is the flu. The flu. The flu. Sore eyes. Sore eyes. Sore throat. There's a there's a very short conversation over here that can be very useful just before getting to the next part. Hey, what's wrong? Do me do me the favor to repeat. What's wrong? What's wrong? Do you have a headache? Do you have a headache? No, I don't. No, I don't. Do you have an earache? Do you have a headache? Yes, that's right. Yeah, that's right. That is right. Very good. Now, yes, I think. Let me see, because. Well, so I have, right? So I have, I feel, I have, I feel. There is a like some vocabulary related to medication. There is a, another conversation. And um, and we have this information here. Now, you know, have plus a noun, plus feel, plus adjective, uh, the conversation. Okay, the info is over here. We're gonna check this. Knowledge check. So we're gonna listen to some people, right? Conversation number one, conversation number two, conversation number three. And then you are going to, to tell me what you listen to. For example, in the first one we have that the person has a headache, maybe, maybe a, a neck pain or a throat. Listen to what's the possible answer here. Give me a second. I will try to get it once again. Okay, now, yes, I, I hope we could solve it. Listen, please. Page 80, exercise four. Listening. I have a headache. Part A. Listen to the conversations. Where do these people hurt? Write down the parts of the body. One. I think I'm going to go home early. I don't feel well. What's the matter, Ben? 
I think I have a cold, I have a headache, and I have a sore throat. Oh, that's too bad. Feel better. Two. Ow! Oh, my gosh! Are you okay, Allison? Uh, not really. My back and my elbow feel terrible. Ouch! Can you stand up? I think so. Yeah, thanks for your help. Three. Number Here, three, number have some three. ice cream, Jeffrey. Oh, I love ice cream, but I can't eat any cold food. Why not? I have a really bad toothache. Oh, I'm sorry. Mm -hmm. And the number four? Four. Oh. What's wrong? I have really sore eyes, and my wrists are sore too. Well, take a break, Marta. Finish typing your homework later. And that's it, right? So, in the number one, what's the problem with the person? Headache. Uh, he headache. has headache. a headache. He has a headache. Conversation <laughs> number two, what happened to Allison? She broke a baggage. Backache. Back, back and elbow. Yeah, backache. Back, back and elbow. Uh, and also the elbow. Back. Uh, yes. The elbow and the, and the back. Teacher, in so, the conversation number one. In the conversation number one, what happened? Head, throat, throat. Uh, the head and the throat. Yes. In the second one, only the back and the elbow. Yes. Yes. In the number three, we have toothache. <laughs> Toothache. 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 Then, conversation number four, Who Marta. Is a, is a, is a, hand. Wrist and hand. Okay, now. So let's check it. No. Teacher, pero tiene que desmarcar las anteriores. Where's a Let's see. The, let us see. Let us see if we, if we did it. Okay, In the first one, yes. the person has a headache, right? And also wow. a sore throat. In the number two, back, back, elbow. a back cake, and also elbow. And elbow. his elbow uh, got damaged. What about number four? Oh, this hmm. is number three. Number three, what's what's the problem with Jeffrey? Two. 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 Uh -huh. So that is a toothache, right? Toothache. Yeah. Conversation number four. What happened to Marta? Breeze and A. Breeze and A. Breeze? No. And eyes, right? So breeze and eyes. But I don't, I, don't, I don't think it's about his hand. And I guess, right? So we don't have any trouble with this. Excellent. Excellent. Mm -hmm. Now, mm -hmm. we're going to go and see some medication in English. Come on, medication. Mm -hmm. We're almost done. Don't worry, because over here you're going to put into practice some vocabulary. Let us see the information. Teacher. Hello? Tengo una duda. Ajá, tell me. Con respecto a este, esa, este vocabulario, o sea, esta parte de acá, eh, la estaba respondiendo y aunque yo nada más seleccione una, siempre me la marca como buena. In the previous one, in the pre this one, in the knowledge check. Mm -hmm. Yes. So, yeah, and the first one was the head and the throat, right? Ajá. Uh -huh. Both, okay. In the second one, what happened to the lady? She uh, hurt her back. Only back. Only back. Uh-huh. But not the elbow. No. Okay, we're going to see it soon. For him, he has uh -huh. a toothache. Mm -hmm. A toothache, and the lady is facing problems with? 
Yes. Here? No. Her what? Her wrist, her eyes, or her hands? Wrist. Wrist. Okay, so only her wrist. Uh -huh. Now let's see what's coming soon. No, but the, the thing is that she has problems with her eyes also. Wrist mm. and eyes. So you have more than two answers. Over mm -hmm. here you only have one, tooth. And in this one, you have two options, back and the elbow, yeah. the back and the elbow. Okay. And in the first one, you have the head and the throat. Mm -hmm. Now, yes? Yes. Excellent, very good. Thanks yeah. for asking, thanks for asking because in that um, way, we get connected. Well, we're gonna see some medication, as I told you. Are you welcome? There are some medications that we need to study. There we're gonna see the video. Now we study about this vocabulary and uh, I need to see the video. This one, common medication. Listen, please, and take notes if, if it is possible. Illness. After you finish this activity, share. Hi everyone. In this class, you'll learn the names of common medications for health problems. Let's listen and practice. Common medications. Antacid. Antacid. Muscle cream. Muscle cream. Aspirin. Aspirin. Cough syrup. Cough syrup. Cough drops. Cough drops. Cold pills. Cold pills. Eye drops. Eye drops. Now, I would like for you to describe what you take whenever you have a headache. Now, this example, is this is going to be the last activity. Be ready. Whenever I have a headache, I take aspirin. Whenever I have a headache, whenever I take aspirin. I have a cold. I take. Give as many examples as you can. Okay. Look at the vocabulary from our previous lesson. And now, people, do me the favor to provide your own answer. Whenever I have a, I have a headache, I take aspirin. Whenever I have a cold, I take what? Cold, cold pills. A cold pills. Now, tell me the other one. Whenever. Uh... With the expression whenever. Whenever I have a cold, I take cold drops. Whenever I, I, I have a, a cough, I take cough drops. Good. What else? Aspirin. Some aspirin, yeah. But tell me the whole sentence, please. Whenever I have... Whenever I have... A cold, I take aspirin. I take aspirin, good. Anybody else? No more, no more? Well, let's see. But that's a vocabulary about common medication. And I think there's gonna be enough. So tomorrow, tomorrow, well, I think it's going to be good to start now. Mañana nos van a decir cómo um, relajarse. Ok, cómo podemos relajarnos. Ok, y sentirnos bien. Para mañana. Pueden empezar a buscar la información. Ok, en in inglés, of course. En in inglés, por supuesto. Mientras yo paso la lista, ok. Any questions, people? Uh, teacher. Hello, hello. Repeat, please. Le puede repetir lo que dijo. Yeah, sure. Okay, so. Um, van a investigar un poquito o darnos algunos consejos de cómo sentirnos 
Bien, ¿cómo estar bien? Ok, y votar estrés. Votar estrés. Así unos consejitos pequeñitos que busquen ahorita en internet, que los estudien, cómo se pronuncia, y mientras ustedes hacen eso, yo paso la lista y cerramos con un par de ejemplos, ¿ok? <coughs> ¿Es clear now? No doubts? No questions? No. Ok, so you have some time. Mientras ustedes hacen eso, voy a dejar de compartir ahorita y paso la lista, ok? Abigail. I'm here. Ana María. I'm here. Ana María Emily. Carlos David. Hello, Carlos David, are you here? I'm here. Okay, so Carlos David is over here. Then I have Daniela Alejandra. I'm here. Diana Saray. I'm here, teacher. Emma Débora. Emma Débora. Eva Margarita. Gabriela Lisset. Janet Guzman. Here I am. Okay, so that's Gabriela, right? Yes. Okay, Gabriela Lisset. Jacqueline Janet. Present. Fernandez, okay, Miss Fernandez, Joana, right? Joana Guadalupe. Present. Oh, Carla Olivia. Carla Olivia. Melissa Giselle. Present. Mm, Raul Alexander. Present teacher. Rosa Elizabeth. Rosa Elizabeth. Rosa Elizabeth. Rosa Feliciana. Present. Roxana Yanira. Present teacher. Ruth Noemi. Present. Zaira. Zaira, Zaira. Mm, Sara, okay. Sara Vanessa. Sara Vanessa. Silvia Noemi. Present teacher. Okay, sí. Stephanie Carolina. Suani. Present teacher. Stephanie Carolina. Present. A Stephanie Carolina. Okay, Swani. Swani. Ah, okay, yes. Swani over here. Very good, Swani. Uh, Wilter. Present teacher. William Vladimir. William Vladimir. William Alfredo. Present teacher. And now William Alfredo is here. Uh, Jancy Stephanie. Here. And finally, Jenny Guadalupe. Present. Good. Okay, so now give me the favor. Investigate. Investigue algunos consejos que nos pueden dar para agotar estrés, para sentirnos bien de salud. Okay. Algunas frases pueden encontrarlas ahí. Aprendérselos. Y traernosla a la clase. Let me know when you get ready, please. You, uh, well, I will share some links that I consider are that I consider important. You can see in the chat so that you can have some review, some more review about the topic. That would be really nice.
Now, did you finish? Okay, who said me? Who wants to participate? Hi, teacher. Thank you. Go ahead. Roxana, right? Mm -hmm. We can practice meditation and breathing techniques. Excellent. Techniques. Techniques. Yes, let me see. There's somebody in the chat. And that is Eva Margarita. When I feel stressed, I go for a walk while listening to my favorite music. Good, Eva. Good, Eva. Okay, anybody else who wants to share pieces of advice? Silvia? Well, Abigail, Abigail, take a lukewarm bath. Okay, Abigail. Anybody else? Anybody else in the group? No more reactions? Well, I think we are going to stop over here. It's been a pleasure again to see you. And, you know, for tomorrow, everybody. Ah, well, let me see. Jenny, Jenny, you want to participate, right? Yes. Going There's for nobody. a walk. Mm -hmm. Going for a walk or ride a bike. Go for a walk and ride about. That's useful for? When I feel, uh, when I have a headache, I take an aspirin. That's what uh, Melissa said. Uh, Rosa says, chill out, sleep, do exercise. Chill out, sleep, and, and do exercise. Excellent. Then we have Jacqueline, listen to calm, calm music, do exercise, eat a healthy diet, practice any sport. Well, Jesus, all about so, well, we're going to stop over here. Mañana continuamos con esta, con esta temática. Nos regalan, por lo menos, investigan unos, unos diez unos 10 consejos para estar saludable y nos los presentan, por lo menos presentan los 3 o 4 mañana. ¿Ok? Ok. ¿Any doubts? ¿No doubts? ¿No, no, no hay preguntas? ¿No questions? No teacher. Ok, so we're going to stop over here. Have a good night. Let me see the chat. To release stress, just listen to waves. Uh, excellent, Alex. That's a good piece of, that, piece of advice. So, hey, everybody, let us see tomorrow. Good night. 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 Remember about homework. Good night. See you tomorrow. ¿Qué tal? ¿Cómo está, Ana? Hola, Ana. Hola, hola. ¿Cómo está? Estoy bien, gracias a Dios. Vaya, qué bueno. Aquí tratando de entender una vez más. Sí. ¿Y usted? También aquí, mire, solo que hay un poco cansada. Sí, igual, pero hay que hacer el esfuerzo. Ajá, sí, claro. Ay, yo, yo siento que dormida estaba ahorita. Sí. sí, ahí vamos, aunque sea empujoncito. Sí, cabal. Ajá. Gracias a Dios que nos llamaron. Sí, menos mal. Sí, porque nada nos va a olvidar todo. Yo sé que yo estaba pensando de que, de que ya no nos iban a llamar. Yo dije, quizás nos dejaron fuera ya del grupo o qué, pero... Porque imagínense que solamente usted y yo estamos de todos los que estuvimos sí. Sería más saber qué fin han tenido. Me imagino yo que se han de ver unido a otros horarios. A lo mejor. Ajá. Era lo que más convenía, pero igual 
Nosotros hay que echarle ganas ahorita aquí mientras podamos. Cabal. Sí, así es. Vaya pues, que tenga buenas noches. Gracias, igualmente. Primero día nos vemos mañana. Sí, que así sea. Cuídese. Está bien, feliz noche igual. Feliz noche, adiós. Adiós.